Hey guys, welcome back to another video in my very last weekend here in Victoria. So I am spending the weekend out at Wilson's Prom, which is absolutely beautiful. Although the weather wasn't in my favor yesterday, today is looking quite sunny. So I'm hoping that should be a good excuse to go for a swim. But I'm starting off at the Big Drift, which is a four and a half kilometer walk. And then it opens out to these beautiful sand dunes. So let's jump straight into this. And then I'll show you guys all of the other best spots of Wilson's Prom. So next up on my list was the Mount Oberon, but turns out this time of year you actually can't drive to it. You have to get on a shuttle bus and it was a little bit busy so I decided to just bypass it and I've come out to Mount Bishop instead. They're both on average about seven kilometers and I'm going to say the view is similar. The Mount Oberon is definitely going to be a little bit taller, but let's get to this hike and I'll show you guys the views at the top because it is absolutely stunning. Potentially the last place on my list today is Squeaky Beach and I hear that there are some really cool little hidden rock pools potentially in with the boulders so let's go check this out and this may be where I leave it for the rest of the day but we'll see. <laughs> Squeaky Beach is up there with one of the most beautiful beaches that I've ever come across and it likely has to do with the fact that it has white sand, crystal clear water, it is absolutely beautiful and you can even explore both ends of the beach as well. So I decided to head to the left and follow the coastal track which effectively winds all the way towards Leonard's Point and this is actually considered one of the best walks in Wilson's Prom. And another little fun fact that I loved about Squeaky Beach is it actually got its name because the sand actually makes a squeaky noise when you walk along it as well. Alright, it's a 
official. I gave up looking for the rock pools. I figure I never really stop and just relax. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go for a swim. I'm gonna read my book and I'm just gonna enjoy the next couple of hours potentially. So let me check back in with you guys when I'm wrapping up for the day. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy this. guys my very last spot for today is whiskey bay now this is the absolute perfect spot to come and see for sunset which unfortunately i'll be missing this weekend it was on my list of places to see yesterday but with the weather just not being in my favor it unfortunately didn't happen and today just with the drive home i've got about four hours of driving and the sunset doesn't go down until 8 30 with daylight saving so it's just a little bit later than i would like to be driving so i'm just gonna have to leave it up to you guys to come and check it out for me but essentially i will be wrapping up this video here and this really concludes Victoria, which I have absolutely loved. Can't say I've loved the uh, the weather. It's been so up and down. Like credits to people who live here. I just don't know if I could live with weather just being so unpredictable. But look, I am so glad that I got to finish it off on a high with the weather being as beautiful as it has been today and being able to relax on the beach, which has been so, so long coming. Like I, I'm like a lizard. I need warmth to really like thrive. So either way, I will see you guys all next week in the video that will effectively be me heading over to Tasmania. So for those who haven't really been following me since the beginning, I actually work remotely. So Monday to Friday, I do work my day job and then I get out on weekends and explore different areas. So whilst I'm in Tasmania, it will be purely holidays, which I'm so excited for. It's very privileged of me to say that I'll be on holidays from a holiday, but either way, I will take you guys along with me. And if there's any spots that you think I should be checking out in Tasmania while I'm there, let me know because I've got a pretty long list, but I feel like everyone's always coming out with like some new ones I potentially haven't heard about. So until then, I will see you guys all next week and thank you again so much for watching.